here. Some of these are not polynomials. Some of them are polynomials. Let's talk about it as we go through each example. So this first one, f of x equals 2x to the fourth minus 8. Okay, so what we want to take a look at is that this is a difference of two monomials. Monomial is just one term, okay, and they're separated by plus or minus. Those are the, the separate terms there. Because this has two terms, we call this a binomial. See, two terms, binomial, like bicycle, two wheels. Then what we do is we look at the term that has the highest power. Now, see how this is a fourth power? So we can say that this is a fourth degree, or we could call it a quartic. So if we put all that together, this is called a quartic binomial. Okay, so let's just write that down. Four is quartic for the degree, quartic, and number of terms, we'll say two, or we could say it's a binomial. And then the leading coefficient, when you write these polynomials, you wanna write them in a descending order from the highest power down to the lowest power. And so the one that leads it off, that first one, when you write it in standard form, is gonna be the leading coefficient, that's two. And then the constant term is just the number. Okay, so that's just the negative eight. Okay, that's actually just degree zero, and, and that's it. So that's the first one. Now the second one, g of x equals four x to the fifth. You can see this is just one group here, one term. So this is called a monomial. See, one term, mono, okay, monomial. So we're gonna write monomial. And then as far as the degree, you can see the highest power here is five. That's a fifth degree, or you could call it quintic. So either one, fifth degree, quintic, either one's fine. I'll just write fifth degree, okay? The leading coefficient is four. And then the constant term, you can see really there isn't a constant term or we could say zero, okay? Let's go to the next one. So h of x equals two x minus seven. Okay, well this one you can see that it's a binomial, there's two terms, okay? So let's just write that down, binomial. And it looks like it's a first degree. See how that's x to the first? Which means that it's called first degree or linear, like a line. Okay, so I'll just write linear for the degree. And then the leading coefficient is two and the constant term is negative seven. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one, f of x equals two to the x plus four. Now this one is not considered a polynomial. When you look at these polynomials we've worked with so far, notice that the variable is always in the base. You never have the variable in the exponent position. This is actually called an exponential function. So this is not a polynomial, so I'm just gonna write, we're just gonna cross right through that one, okay? Not, not applicable. The next one here, you can see we've got x to the negative two plus three x. Okay, this one is also not a polynomial. You don't wanna have a negative exponent. Okay, that's considered not a polynomial. You want these exponents to be integers. You want them to be positive. Um, and that, so this one doesn't fall into that category. This is actually like one divided by x squared plus three x. So again, this is not a polynomial. Let's look at this one. Now this one, same thing. We've got the variable in the denominator. Notice these other polynomials. We never had the variable in the denominator. One over x is the same as x to the negative one. We don't want that negative exponent. That's not considered a polynomial. So again, this one is not a polynomial. And then let's take a look at these last two examples. But before I do these, I just wanna mention that if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, check out my two uh, video courses, the huge ACT math review video course and the huge SAT math review video course goes through a number of different concepts to help you boost your score on those particular tests. If you're getting ready to take those, check those out. But let's go through these last two examples. Uh, x to the square root two plus three, again, not a polynomial because you have a non-integer exponent. So this is not a polynomial. And then the last one here, we've got four x squared minus two x plus one. This one, you can see it's a second degree. That's the highest power. Second degree we call a quadratic, okay? And you can see that it's one, two, three terms, three groups, we call that a trinomial, like a tricycle, right? Three wheels. So we've got one, two, three. So this is a degree two, which is a quadratic. Sometimes students get uh, quadratic and uh, quartic confused. Quartic is actually four, and quadratic is actually uh, second degree. And then this is a trinomial, and leading coefficient is four. That's the one that leads it off. And the constant term is positive one. And I'm just gonna give you one more bonus one here. And notice that all of these ones here, they all have just uh, one variable, just like x. So say for example, we were to do something like this, five x squared y cubed minus three x y squared. 
Well, here what you want to do, see these terms are separated by you know minus or plus. You want to add up those exponents. So this is two plus three is five. Okay, this one is one plus two, which is actually three. So the highest power is five. This would actually be a fifth degree binomial. Okay, so if you have more than one variable, add up those exponents for that particular term. That's a little bit more of an advanced one. Usually when they're doing these problems with you in your class, or you're taking a look at these, you only have one variable generally, but sometimes they do give you two or three or four variables. So I hope this helped you understand how to classify polynomials better. Check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future math videos. And if you have any other questions or things that you want me to maybe do future videos on, feel free to let me know. Send me a, an email and uh, you could potentially be featured in uh, one of the future videos. So I'll talk to you soon.